Morning, Timmy. Morning. Did you finish that project you were talking about? Uh, yeah, I'm presenting it today. What's your project, Tim? Ted Bundy. He was a serial killer. I know who Ted Bundy was. I wasn't born yesterday. Okay. I'm gonna go now. I'll be back around ten times that because I have football until six. Do you want me to pick you up after football? It's gonna be cold by then. I'm sure you want to get home quick. Yes, please, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll pick you up around six fifteen. Okay, thanks. Bye. Kid's always had a thing for the morbid, hasn't he? Don't be rude. He can like what he wants to like. Sure. I'm expecting a phone call from the doctor soon. Yeah. I'm a bit worried though. Why, my love? I mean, what if it's dangerous? What if it's something incurable? No. No matter what happens, we'll stick together as a family. I know. I'm just scared. Look, when all this is over, we'll get a takeaway and watch the New Year's Eve fireworks on the telly. Okay? I'd like that. Have a good day. Yeah. Is this Mary Powell? I... I don't understand. I can assure you it's not as daunting as it sounds. Those who suffer from this condition normally go on to live healthy, regular lives. But how have we not noticed this before? It's very easy for it to be misdiagnosed or simply ignored. Some just brush it off as a personality trait. So what do we do now? Learn to identify which one it is. Look for certain nervous tics or shifts in behavior, like inexplicable bursts of anger or sudden waves of sadness. And they might show a sudden interest in subjects relating to death or murder. You need to be careful when they're in that state. It could lead to irregular acts of violence or even an attempt to your life. Sorry, Doctor. Hold on a minute. Yes, I think I'm just seeing things. Just thought a man with a tiger mask was outside just now. Well, I was saying that it's paramount that you make sure that they don't have access to sharp objects. Miss Powell? H Hello? Hello? Yeah, you might even 
I remember reading the headlines about Glenthorpe Road a good few years ago about some kid who returned home and found his mum murdered. Awful stuff. Yeah, it was. Almost there now. Cheers, mate. All right, all right. I mean, hold on. Fucking hell, I'm coming. Who's there? Yeah, it's Dad. Open the door, please. What are you doing here? How do you know I'd be here? I heard you were around, so I just came to catch up. Cut the crap. How did you know I'd be here? I was still tracking his mobile. Are you fucking serious? What the hell? What that? Get the fuck out of here. That's just creepy. How many times do I have to apologise for what happened? I, I, I just want to make things right. Save it. You're just guilty, aren't you? Or have you just come here to beg me for money so you can buy more alcohol? You know I've been to rehab. I'm sorry for what happened. But... D I said save it. No amount of apologies will get... will bring back about me staying on so many people's sofas over the last five years. God, I know I can't take by my actions, but... I just want to be here for you now. Come on in then. I've seen these for years. Wow. Can you tell me what these documents are? They're incoherent and missing pages. Um, I don't know. How did the safe come to be here? Same place as I found the documents. Were they not supposed to be in there? Um, uh, not really. No. Okay. Is this your first time back in the house? Nope. I used to come here every time you were drunk and threatened me. Yeah. Yeah. 
gave our old telephone provider a ring last weekend. They gave me a record of all the calls that happened on the day she died. Mum was the last person to use the landline that day. So, if we find the phone call... We might learn how she died. Do you think it's in the safe? Um, I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> it's been five years. Do you expect me to remember what colour socks I wore too? So, you didn't write this then? What? No. I never wrote that. Then who did? How am I supposed to know? Useless. How can you not remember? Anything of the day she died. I don't. I just don't. I didn't even want to come here. I knew this would happen. What would happen? You'd interrogate me. You'd question every damn thing I said. You think I killed her or something, don't you? Well, I have perfect reason to. Considering her phone was found in the bed you last used. Good to know that my own son suspects me for murder. Look, I'm sorry. I've reacted a bit and it won't happen again. Don't worry. Forgive me for asking, but do you know what this key is? Uh, um, yeah, it's the key to the shed. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, did you find anything in the garage? Yes, I did. Look, I was thinking, and maybe it would be best if we just forgot about all the... Oh, Christ, is that? Yep, that's the knife that I found buried in my mother's chest. I'm sorry, Tim. I didn't realise you were the first person to see her. Yeah, because you were at work, weren't you? What? You were at work? Yeah. When did you finish? You heard me. What are you suggesting? Answer the fucking question. I, 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 I don't know. Um, God, 5.30? 5.30. You finish work at 5.30. I finish football at 6.15. You should have been home before me. Uh, how am I meant to recall... What happened fucking years ago, Tim? I can. I can recall everything. Every fucking waking moment of that day. I recall how I tried to get hold of Mum six times before having to walk home from football. Having to jump over a fence because no one opened the door for 30 minutes. Having to call the police by myself whilst holding my dead mum in my hands. I called you 20 fucking times. And you still didn't answer. Phone must have been dead or something, Tim. Dead? 
All just turned off. <laughs> I found these. How did, where did you get these? Paper here says, that Mum hired an investigator. I guess those messages or photos never made it to her. <laughs> this is so stupid. I can't believe it. It's been staring me right in the face. What are you talking about, Tim? How long have you been planning to kill her? No! I would never! Was it for her? Did you plan on leaving me in social care? Your mother was important to me, Tim! Did you hate her? Hate her enough to gut her in the same kitchen we ate for two goddamn Timmy. years? Timmy! Please! Do not call me that name. I didn't want any of this! I knew this would happen! I should have come clean sooner. I, I, I meant to. Liar. Fucking liar. I'm not lying. You killed her. You killed her. And you ruined my life. You ruined our life. God, you make me fucking sick. God damn it, shut up. I'm sick of these accusations. You don't know shit about what you're talking about. And if you did, you'd wish you didn't. I'm telling you now. Leave this alone or it'll all crumble around you. I'm done. So you do know? You coward. You made me obsess over this. I can't tell you. I promised myself. It'd destroy you. Destroy me? Destroy me? I spent five fucking years trying to figure this thing out. I pushed away everyone. Gave up everything. And you can't even tell me because you promised? Get out! Fuck. Get out! Message. Good morning. Is this Mary Powell? Speaking. This is Dr. Johnson calling to let me know about my son, I presume? Correct, you are. I have to record this phone call for legal purposes. Is that okay with you? That shouldn't be a problem. Well, I'll just get straight to the point. After the agreed evaluation and records from prior sessions, I've concluded that your son suffers from an unpredictable form of disassociative identity disorder paired with homicidal ideation. I'm not a doctor. You'll have to simplify those phrases for me. Your son has two personalities. I... I don't understand. I can assure you it's not as complicated as it sounds. Those who suffer from this condition can go on to live healthy, regular lives. But how could we have not noticed it before? It's very easy for it to be misdiagnosed or simply ignored especially at a younger age. Has he shown any interest in things like serial killers? Well, he's doing a project on Ted Bundy at school. Ah, prime example. Those with these disorders tend to subconsciously fixate on topics as a link to the second personality. There is, however, no guarantee on how obsessed this other personality is. We've had cases in the past where those with this affliction would commit copycat murders and would create a subconscious trail the other personality to figure out. What am I supposed to do? Learn to identify the switches. Sometimes it can be shown as nervous tics or shifts in personality, like sudden bursts of hostility and anger. I advise keeping sharp items and in places where he can't access, at least until further sessions ha
You get hype, please, please. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm calling to make a confession about an old case. Uh, the murder of Mary Powell. 